welcome back to uh, New Book Tuesday. We've got a great selection for you today, nonfiction and fiction. We will start with the fiction. First one, The Sea Storm, a thriller by, thriller by Andrew Main. An attack on a cruise ship was just the beginning. There's a darker storm brewing. Brewing. Andrew Main, Sea Storm. The Garden of Broken Things a novel by Francesca Montplaisir. Genevieve, a single mother, flies to, from New York to Port-au-Prince with her teenage son, Miles. The trip is meant to be an education for 15-year-old Miles, a chance to learn about his family roots while coming to terms with his father's departure. But it's also an excuse for Genevieve to escape the city where her life is dominated by her failed marriage and the daily pressures of raising black children in America. Garden of Broken Things. Hidden Pictures, a novel by Jacob, Jason Rukulik. Fresh out of rehab, Mallory Quinn takes a job in the affluent suburb of Springbrook, New Jersey, as a babysitter for Ted and Carolyn Maxwell. She is to look after their five-year-old son, Teddy. Mallory immediately loves this new job. She lives in the Maxwell's pool house, goes on nightly runs, and has the stability she craves. And she sincerely bonds with Teddy, a sweet, shy boy who is never without his sketchbook and pad. His drawings are the usual fare, trees, rabbits, balloons, but one day he draws something different, a man in a forest dragging a woman's lifeless body. Ooh, creepy. The Gatekeeper, a thriller by James Byrne. Desmond Aloysius Limerick, Des to his friends, is a man with a shadowy military past and specialized skills. These days, Des is just a bloke with a boyish charm, a bass guitar, and bullet wounds that paint a roadmap of past lives. The Gatekeeper. Counterfeit by Kirsten Chin. Ava Wong has always played it safe, a straight-laced, rule-abiding Chinese-American lawyer with a successful surgeon as a husband, a young son, and a beautiful home. She's built the perfect life, but beneath the facade, Ava's world is crumbling. Her marriage is falling apart, her expensive law degree hasn't been used in years, and her toddler's tantrums are pushing her to the breaking point. Counterfeit. Uh, Fatal Booking, a mystery by Victoria Gilbert. Book lover Charlotte is delighted to welcome an eclectic group of guests to Chapters Bed and Breakfast for a book retreat. Book club retreat focused on fairy tales and classic children's literature. But one of, when one of the guests is poisoned at a Mad Hatter tea party, Charlotte realizes she's fallen down a rather unpleasant rabbit hole. A Fatal Booking, a book lover's B&B &B mystery. The Ghosts of Paris, a novel by Tara Moss. In the scripting story of secrets and intrigue set in post-World War London and Paris, a search for a missing husband puts investigator and former war reporter Billy Walker on a collision course with the underground network of Nazi criminals. Ghosts of Paris. The Lost Expert, Hal I'm going to even pronounce that name. Have you ever wanted to get lost in this new novel by acclaimed novelist and cultural observer How? A, a lost young man falls into the abyss of Hollywood celebrity. Can he find his way out? Does he even want to? Lost expert. The Shore, a novel by Katie Rund. One summer in Seaside, steps away from the bustling boardwalk, the Dunn family faces an unknowable future and copes with loss through sisterhood and friendship, humor and hard work, romance and escape. The Shore. Siren Queen by Nye Vo. No maids, no funny talking, no fainting flowers. Luli Wei is beautiful, talented, and desperate to be a star. Coming of age in pre-code Hollywood, she learn, knows how dangerous the movie business is and how limited roles are for a Chinese-American girl from Hungarian Hill. But she doesn't care. She'd rather play a monster than a maid. Siren Queen. 
Cole Fear, Brandon Webb, and John David Mann. Finn's search for his memory of one fateful night leads him to Iceland, only to be followed by an unhinged assassin intent on stopping him. Cold fear. And then for nonfiction, we have to start with Mutinous Women, How French Convicts Became Founding Mothers of the Gulf Coast. That's by Joan Dijon. We have one from popular author David Sedaris. It's called Happy Go Lucky. Another one of his humorous story collections. We have that one in large print as well. Okay. Then we have To Risk It All, Nine Conflicts and the Crucible of Decision. That's from retired U.S. Navy Admiral James Stavridis. Got um, this book. It's called Little Brother, Love, Tragedy, and My Search for the Truth by Ben Westhoff. Um, it's his reflections on being part of the Big Brother Big Sister program and his little brother being um, killed by gang violence. Then we've got River of the Gods, Genius, Courage, and Betrayal in the Search for the Source of the Nile. That's from Candace Millard. We've got um, this book called Translating Myself and Others. That's from Jhumpa Lahiri. This book is called Embracing Hope After Traumatic Brain Injury, Finding Eden. That's from Michael S. Arthur. This book is called This Is Not a Book About Benedict Cumberbatch. The Joy of Loving Something, Anything Like Your Life Depends on It. It's from Tabitha Carvin. This is Vinegar Hill. It's a collection of poems from Colm Tobin. Next we have from Howard Bloom, The Spy Who Knew Too Much, an ex-CIA officer's quest through a legacy of betrayal. We have this book, it's called Dangerous Fate, 50 Powerful Believers Who Changed the World. It's just a collection of profiles on 50 individuals. And then finally, Nolo's Essential Guide to Divorce, um, written by attorney Emily Doskow, it's the updated ninth edition. Negotiate property division and financial support, protect your children's best interests, avoid expensive court battles, learn your legal rights and options. If any of these take your fancy, uh, go on to our website, fairhopelibrary.org, or come by the library and check them out. Thank you.